So we're gonna play a game. It's gonna be like Saw. Have you ever seen Saw? I have not seen Saw. So. I get to unbox one of these, so I have to pick. Can I peek and then choose? No. Like one of them is gonna feed me, the other is gonna give me jewelry. Is this one or to eliminate? You picked the wrong box. Give me the other box. I know, I pressed re rewind on YouTube. I didn't pick the wrong box. This to me looks like a gold nugget. I'm gonna be really, really careful with this. Yeah, this is gold. Or... No, this isn't gold. Because I'm not a fool. I didn't pick the wrong box because you know, in gemology, we learned all about pyrite, which is fool's gold. I'm not choose the wrong box. You picked the wrong box again? No. I have two beautiful pieces of this is gold. This is pyrite. Obviously, we're talking about gold today, so we're probably gonna talk about fool's gold. This right here, this is gold, and I know it because of the way it's formed. I know because of the color. This right here, you know, it looks metallic, but I know it's not gold because of the color. I suspect this is pyrite. Let's say it's, what, 1949 in California, and you're, you're trying to make a buck. You're trying to feed your family and feed your dog who's looking a little skinny. Yeah, maybe, maybe I would think if I was in the heat of the moment that this is gold. Looks a little too metallic. The color is off. This is straight gold here, folks. When was the gold rush? Wasn't it 19... The 49ers, right? When was the gold rush? Shoot. I misspoke. The gold rush was in the 1800s, not the 1900s. I'm a fool because I'm holding fool's gold. This is the gold nugget. Yes, it is this yellow. My producer's questioning my expertise again. Let's say I pulled this out of the ground or pan or whatever. It's not gonna look like what you see in a jewelry store because this is like straight up 24 karat gold right here. You're not just gonna turn this into a piece of jewelry. You're gonna mix it with an alloy like copper, nickel, um, platinum. Let's say that you have um, 18 karat gold. So if you do a, a ratio, 18 over 24, that's about three fourths. So three fourths of 18 karat gold is actual gold. But that last quarter right there, it can be copper, silver, nickel, what have you. Each does jewelry jewelry designer will have a different recipe for their gold. Some gold jewelry will look more yellow like this. Maybe there's more gold. Some gold jewelry will be like a rose gold or it'll be a lighter color gold or it'll be white gold. I actually have a bracelet that's chocolate gold. It's super cool. I've worked in the jewelry business for a while and most commonly I saw 14 and 18 karat gold. There's a stamp and it could be for 14 karat gold, it's like 585. So that means like 58.5% of that metal used is gold. 18 karat gold, you'll see 750 stamped in jewelry. Go see if you can find a 585, a 14K, a 750, an 18K. There may be some other numbers. Gold is actually really soft and delicate. That is why in jewelry, it's not solid 24 karat gold. There's other metals that are mixed in, not just to influence the color, but to make it so that you can wear it every single day. I mean, let's say that you're wearing your beautiful engagement ring or your wedding band, but you don't want to be taking cookies out of the oven or mowing your lawn and then your ring starts to wear and tear. No, it lasts longer and then you can wear it more often and it's safer. And it's cool. I love rose gold, don't you? If gold is so soft, why do we even use it in jewelry? And I say to you, great. Question, it doesn't tarnish. You can easily cast it into, into shapes. You can hammer it into sheets, bend it into wire. Gold also has a very high luster. It's really cool how we can just take a nugget like this and put it on your fingers, but it looks way better and it's gonna last longer. Stop, it's joke time. What are you going to say when someone steals your gold earrings? Hey you, get back here. What's your favorite? I didn't get that. Are you made of beryllium, gold, and titanium? Because you are B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. No, I missed that. Gold's atomic number is 79 and it is AU, so this is a solid element. Pyrite is different. This is actually an iron sulfide. Just because this, it's called fool's gold, doesn't mean that it's not, it doesn't have value in the gem and jewelry business. It is used in jewelry. The major difference is that pyrite is not as soft. People have mistaken it for gold, which makes complete sense. If I didn't know any better, I would probably think that too, but I'm a gemologist, so I do know better. What's interesting about pyrite is 
is that you can actually find it as an inclusion in other minerals or gemstones. So in Colombian emerald, you may find pyrite. Lapis lazuli, you may find pyrite. Quartz, you may find pyrite. So we're gonna take a closer look. Today I want you all to focus on the color difference between real gold and pyrite. Would you be able to figure out which one is fake gold versus real gold? and tell me what your favorite color of gold is. Or maybe do you prefer pyrite? And don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got some great stuff coming up in the future and I really don't want you to miss out. While you're at it, why don't you hit that golden notification button so you get all of our videos right when they come out. Catch you later.